welcome to Fishing Britain. And what a cracking show we have for you this week. We have a story about a monster shrimp in the news. We've got a stack of your clips in Hooked on YouTube. We have some sage advice about his three quarters of a century experience in fly fishing from my dad. But first, it's a Venyard 120 challenge with a difference. Right, we're back at Draycott Water. Another Venyard 120 challenge. But I've already been here, I've already done it. And I've got the t-shirt. Yes, we only managed just to do it. But Aaron said, bring all my flies, bring all my reels, but no rod. Ah, oh, this sounds bad. I bet he's got a trick or two up his sleeve. What's going on? Right, okay, that's, yeah, well, that's, a, that's got to be a rod, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we've got the Daiwa Lexa, nine foot six, seven. Wait, that's all right. Okay, ideal for bank fishing. Bug Bond, Pro Torch mains power adapter. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, but I brought my flies. I don't need any more flies. <sighs> okay, let me show you this. Um, this will give you a hint. So I suppose, yes, as I thought. So no rings, rings, bug bond, two hours. So do I have to catch a fish as well? Right, about to start the challenge, and I've come indoors. We're actually inside the gutting room here at Draycott Water. A couple of reasons, I needed power. Second thing, I wanted to come out of the wind. Now, when Aaron set this challenge, he thought I was going to be actually whipping the guides on. Ha, huh, a little bit different. I'm just going to use the bug bond. So, it's a challenge, we're against the clock. There it is, two hours countdown. Press the start button, and it started. Right, stripper guide. Right, here we go. We have to locate that in the middle. Put one there. Get a torch. What we're trying to do is take the bug bond around the whole blank, as if it was whipping, because this material binds itself together. Oops, don't cast the ring. What you're going to have is the ring held on with no whipping whatsoever. Right, a little bit. Brilliant thing with this bit, you can just mess around with it till you're happy, you've covered everywhere. Right, now then. Just first of all, we're just gonna go quick. Just doing the quarter. 15, 20 seconds. Turn it. Right, that's the bottom of one guide. Now we have to do exactly the same with the top section. Right, final ring on. That's three sections. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine rings. <laughs> Let's have a look at time. Okay, I've got one hour, 14 minutes left. Right, I ain't got time to pack this up. I'm going out. I've got to catch a fish, come on. Yeah. Right, he made me build a rod, 
I've got a fish from the bank, uh, driven all the way around. There's a couple of reasons. The wind's coming straight into shore here, so hopefully there won't be any other fishermen on this bank this morning. It's <sighs> nearly 12 o'clock, midday, horrible time for bank fishing. Sun's out. I'm getting all the excuses out of the way now, but come on, let's get down there and uh, put a, a line on this and some flies, see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> There's a fish! There's a fish! <laughs> He allowed me to bring all my flies. The problem is now, <laughs> what do you choose? I got thousands in here. Check it out. What are we going to do? Right, less than 57 minutes or 57 minutes and counting. So let's see, first of all, not catching a fish, let's see if it can cast. And there's a fish just rows, but three yards from the bank. So I'm gonna pop the booby and then just take. Oh, he's, he's turned on it. There's me looking elsewhere. Why didn't you just take me, you silly fish? <sighs> that was no more than a foot from the bank. He poked his head up. Oh, look at that. They're going berserk in front of me. I was in two minds there. I was trying to go one to the left and one to the right, and I just put it in the middle just to see. Trip, all rings intact. Right, I need, I need, I need, oh yeah. It's not really mobile, this. Typical. Right, that's the one, and that's the one. Look, 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 it's just over my shoulder. 43 minutes left. I've had three takes, come on. Rod's working perfect, it's, it, it's a victory. Well, small victory. Where's my left? Where? Look, the challenge was to catch a fish, and there you go. <laughs> no, catch me a trout. It's a fish, you never said trout. Oh, oh man. We've got two, look at that. The perch king. <laughs> the perch love it. Look, and, and he's taken it properly. I mean, look, it's in his gob. Look at that. I mean, talk about fighting above your own weight. I mean, that's ridiculous. Look at him, he's here, he's here. Ooh, that's a lump of a fish as well. Wow. That was three, four pound at least. Right, it's just coming around in the wind. Just tore away. Ooh, he's fighting well. Ooh, all right. Oh, he's put me in the weed as well. <laughs> Get 
guess what, folks? It's not a trout. It's a... Oh, look at that. That is a stunning perch. Wow. And what did Aaron say? Well, I kept catching the small ones. <laughs> guess what? They're getting a lot, lot, lot bigger. Coming at you. Let me show you that. Look at that. Stunning perch. Look at that dorsal fin. Keep your fingers well away from that. And look at that. Top lip buzzer. Well, I would say challenge complete, but we've still got about five minutes left, so I'm going to carry on for the trout. But, you know, look at the rods, rings all still in place, fought that well. It's casting perfectly, so none have moved. The bug one's done his trick. There you go, two hours up. And in that two hours, shut up. Thank you. And in that two hours, I managed to build a rod and put all the rings on it. Uh, caught a load of perch. Finished off with what I call a monster perch. Oh well, I'm gonna say challenge complete. I thought the regular Vineyard 120 challenge was outrageous, but that was ridiculous. But hey, that perch saved the day. Talking of outrageous, I'm still looking for a tie for this bloke. This is Fishing Britain News. The fishing journals of Ernest Hemingway could be a vital scientific resource. That's the conclusion of scientists who are examining the documents kept by Cuba's Cultural Heritage Council. The writer lived in Cuba for 20 years and was an equally obsessive fisherman and record keeper. Now scientists hope his logs will provide details about deep sea fishing populations over the last 75 years. West Sutherland Fisheries Trust is holding an auction of some lovely fishing. All the proceeds of this auction go towards protecting salmon and sea trout in the West Sutherland region. It's online and closes at the end of November and you can go and see the lots at melandphil.com forward slash geo. A bear got stuck in the rocks while fishing last week. Filmed by German tourists, the bear eventually wriggles free and even being stuck doesn't stop the greedy animal from catching fish. Andy Crow has bagged top spot in the finely open Codling Challenge Shore Match. Regular viewers will be delighted to learn that the winner was not our own Andy Crow, but his namesake from Scarborough. A Florida fisherman has caught an unusual shrimp. Steve Bargeron says the massive thing was about 18 inches long and striking its own tail, so he grabbed it by its back like a lobster. Scientists think it may be some type of mantis shrimp, which are actually not related to shrimp, but are a type of crustacean called a stomatopod. And finally, more news from the state of Florida, where they're planning on banning chumming from the shoreline. A run of big shark catches by anglers has led to fears that blood baiting may be dangerous, potentially putting sharks such as this hammerhead into feeding frenzies near swimmers. You are now up to date with Fishing Britain News. Fishing for facts, landing the stories. Thank you, David, the oracle of all things from the news desk. We're moments away from the casting clinic that will maximise your fishing time and still hooked on YouTube. But now it's time for Aaron to get all artistic with some help from my old man. I'm in my earthly paradise now. This is where I come to escape from the mudding crowds. I used to come with my grandfather. He had a long rod, one piece, nine foot. He used to keep it upstairs going to the bedroom. You switch off and then you hear. 
alone, but never lonely, because this is the wild country and I'm part of it when I come here. The thing about fishing is, you meet a stranger and after a quarter of an hour, you've got a friend for a lifetime. This brotherhood of angling. I remember there was a keeper here, Frank Owen, wonderful, wonderful character. And he said, a good fish is, will always be taken on a dry fly. He was fishing for food, not for fun, but uh, and a person fishing for food is a good angler. What mood are the fish in? Because these are wild fish. I can take one from here and I'm more satisfied than if I took a cartload of stocked fish. Because, you know, these fish have a relish that you don't get in stock fish. People do need to cut off from the pressures that they have. Now, people think, oh, a fisherman sits down and waits for the fish to bite. That's a lot of rubbish. You work hard at your fishing, you, but you're in a different field. You're using your brain, yes, your hunting brain. It's not uh, the jobs, if you're with computers, that horrible things, you know, that uh, people uh, tie themselves to. But then you come out here and you tie yourself to the great outdoors. Fishing is a breakaway to take you into a different world. And you must realize it's a religion really with us and not a sport, a way of life. You are still learning and I know today now I've got up out of bed and the first thing I looking at what's the weather like. Oh, the fish, oh, yes, it's a world fishing day. The world turns round fishing and fishing has given my life a purpose. But you really live for the time that you've got to spare. And really, at time, at times that you <laughs> haven't got to spare. If you're a good fisherman, your brain has to work all the time because the fish is an honorable creature. You fish well, it will respond. If you fish badly, it doesn't respond to you. People do need something that stretches them and yet gives them a pleasure. We tend to criticize and complain. God, we've got a lot to be grateful for. And I, I, I thank the Lord that I have been able to spend my time and uh, my life here, alone, but not lonely. Well done, Aaron. What a piece of art. But I did notice you left this bit out. Probably didn't have the right artistic feeling, but I'm sure I could make 250 quid off one of those telly shows. Now, before we go over to see your expertly framed clips in Hooked on YouTube, let me show you a cast that will enable you to change a fly faster than anyone else. How often have you found yourself in a situation with fish feeding all over the top? You've covered the fish, you've covered it, you've covered it three, four times. You've got the wrong fly on, you want to change it. To change it normally you will pull all that line in and then waste your time changing the fly, then false casting, getting back out there. Why not just do this? Lift up, catch the line. The beauty with it, that all the line is still outside the tip. No false casting, change the fly, kick it back, let it go and push forward. It saves you vital seconds every time you change a fly. It's lift, 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 kick it down. There's the line there, all right? Change it, kick it back, let it go, and push forward. It's called the catch cast.
boom, there you go. That'll enable you to have more fishing time. Now it's time for Hooked on YouTube. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my weekly roundup of the best fishing on YouTube. We are in the Valais in Switzerland for high mountain fly fishing by Linnael Duval. He is float tubing in the Lac des Otans with excellent aerial shots. Fun and chatty iFish TV has brought out its salmon fishing romp about the River Tay at Dunkeld. Salmon fishing films are like salmon. Some are doggy and doer, and some like this one are fresh run and feckless. As Florida debates whether or not to legalise Goliath grouper fishing, well they are the perfect fish for YouTube. Infinity Fishing Team teams up with Black Tip H and Team Requiem for a day of offshore Goliath grouper fishing. Back to British Carp, Fishing Paste in the Margins is the trailer for a half hour episode with Will Raisin showing how polled paste and pellets work for big margin fish. Yuri Grisendi put up a film of himself catching a 260 pound catfish on light tackle in July. It got three quarters of a million views. His new film has him catching a 260 pound catfish on light tackle again. Dot dot dot. French style machine gun mackerel fishing in Peche Macro a la Mitraillette. Video Chasse is in a sea boat catching all sorts. Fishing hell for Marty Muke too. He is hauling in fish. Every cast is a winner and appropriately he sets it to the underworldly chorus of Randy Monks from Carmina Burana. And finally Polish viewer Matthias Sarawski sends in his film about fishing the Kaminia Malego River using a homemade lure. Click on the links to watch the videos or you will find them in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for Hooked on YouTube, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, folks, that's it for another week. I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have, hit the subscribe button. If you want to keep up to date with all the other programs on the channel, please visit our website, fieldsportchannel.tv, and fill out the constant contact form. Don't forget, you can get involved with our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. I'll see you next week on Fishing Britain.